Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth. Hello, everybody. This is Paul Neeson with Torah Life Ministries. Shabbat Shalom to everybody that's watching right now. Uh, tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Time and every Friday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, we have live fellowship on our YouTube page and on our website, Torah Life Ministries and TorahLifeMinistries.org. Uh, right now, we're going to be reading Psalms uh, not, oh, 102. Uh, we're up to Psalm 102. We're going to be reading this. The author of this is anonymous. And uh, the theme of this psalm is uh, uh, talking about the cure for distress. And uh, and and it, it, we get into it here and we understand because uh, uh, there are so many people going through hard times today and we could use this as an example. So the author being anonymous, there's uh, some, some good stuff to share here. So uh, And remember again, pray, praise, proclaim, read and repent, submit. That's what we must be doing as believers on a regular basis. And whenever you're down, whenever you're stressed out, uh, remember, there's a way out. And there's a creator who loves you. And he says he has a hope, a future, you know, a plan for you. And that consists of a future and a hope. So Psalms 102, uh, a prayer to one uh, overwhelmed with trouble, pouring out problems before Yahweh. And many of us seemed overwhelmed with troubles. And 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 so I pray this this song will help you, and I encourage you to go to uh, the YouTube to Psalms 102 song and hear this. Remember, before we start, I want to tell you, we're saved by the blood of Yeshua, our Messiah, but we are blessed by being obedient to his word. And the greatest blessing that he can give us is that he would listen to our prayers. And, and, and all the saints of the scriptures cried out to him to please hear their prayers. And, and, and when he listens to his prayers, we know we're in good favor with him. So this starts out Psalms 102. Yahweh, hear my prayer. First sentence. First sentence. Yahweh, hear my prayer. Listen to my plea. Don't turn away from me in my distress. Bend down to listen and answer me quickly when I call to you. What a great request. Uh, he says, make your quest be known before him. And, uh, what a great request. So uh, don't turn away in my time of distress. Bend down to listen and answer me quickly. Uh, it says, for my days disappear like smoke and my bones burn like red hot coals. My heart is sick, withered like grass, and I have lost my appetite because of my groaning. I am reduced to skin and bones. So this, this psalmist, the person that wrote the psalmist, actually uh, lost his appetite. Uh, and because of his distress, and 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 it's that you know you can see what an emotional level and how emotional uh, things were. I mean that uh, they were connected to the word. If you're reading the word and you're not connected to it, things like this aren't going to happen. So, uh, but they should be happening. I don't want to see anyone out there losing their appetite, but I want to see people connected on an emotional level to what they're reading. The most important words ever written. It says, uh, "I am like verse six. I am like an owl in a desert, like a little owl in a far-off wilderness. I lie awake, lonely and solitary, uh, bird on, uh, 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 as a solitary bird on a roof. My enemies taunt me day after day. They mock and curse me. I eat ashes for food. My tears run down into my drink because of your anger and your wrath, for you have picked me up and thrown me out. My life passes as swiftly as the evening shadows. I am withering away like grass. But you, O Yahweh, will sit on your throne forever. Your fame will endure to every generation. You will arise and have mercy on Jerusalem. And now is the time to pity her. Now is the time you, you, you promise to help. And uh, so uh, we can see here the psalmist is just recapping a lot of what's going on in his home life, but also the history of what's going on uh, with, uh, with the covenant. That, that that was should have been broken or, 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 or made or taken, but was broken. So verse 12, for your people love every stone in her walls and cherish even the dust in her streets. Speaking of Jerusalem, uh, and then the nations will tremble before Yahweh. The kings of the earth will tremble before, before his glory. For Yahweh will re rebuild Jerusalem. He will appear in his glory. He will listen to the prayers of the destitute. He will not reject their pleas. He will not reject their pleas. Verse 18. 
Let this be recorded for future generations so that a people not yet born will praise Yahweh. Okay, folks, remember we got pray, praise, proclaim, read and repent and submit. Uh, so it says to praise Yahweh. And it goes on to say here, tell them that Yahweh looked down from his, he his heavenly sanctuary. He looked down to the earth from heaven to hear the groans of the prisoners, to release those who condemn, who those condemned to die. As so, Yahweh's fame will be celebrated in Zion, his praises in Jerusalem, when multitudes gather together and the kingdoms come to worship Yahweh. He broke my strength in midlife, cutting my short, short my days. But I cried to him, O oh my Elohim who lives forever, don't take my life while I am so young. Long ago you laid the foundation of the earth and made the heavens with your hands. They will perish, but you remain forever. They will wear out like an old clothing. You will change them like a garment and discard them. But you are always the same. You will live forever. The children of your people will live securely. Uh, securely. Their, their children's children will thrive in your presence. Hallelujah. So we see here, uh, this psalm here, just talking about uh, covering so much, uh, but the psalmist was anonymous. But uh, when you're overwhelmed with 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 trouble and stresses and everything else, uh, read this prayer and remind yourself the situation Israel was in and Jerusalem was uh, being seized at this time, and the prayer uh, of the faith that this person have, knowing uh, that Yahweh was in control of everything and had control over everything. It's so important, and I want to do this to encourage you all to read your scriptures every single day, read your word consistently. It's so power, powerful. So uh, that was Psalms 102. And uh, go back and look at the others. Please share this with people on Facebook. We'll be back later this evening, 10 p.m. Eastern time uh, with live fellowship, uh, depending if you're watching the live show or the replay. And Psalms 102 is really beautiful. It's really beautiful because there are so many people out there in, in distress today. And, and it really can help if you really just connect with your scriptures like we're called to do. All right, everybody. So thank you. Share this with others. Uh, Shabbat Shalom. And until then, uh, Shalom Shalom. I'm out of the world. Oh, my people, seek the truth. Avoid the evil. Learn Yahweh's ways. Torah life ministries come out of the world. Oh.